survival evolved. I decided, I mean, there's been 20 some odd updates since the original Is It Worth It video. So I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to go to unofficial because it's probably still impossible to get on a non-official. Okay, let me see which one looks all right. Um, this one can apparently support, well, I actually want to try official because that at least guarantees that it'll be one of the more modern versions. So let's actually try to do official. They have done a lot of updating to the game, but we're going to see if any of that has actually translated to in-game. I did like that they added this. This is actually super helpful. That they added a little loading bar that actually lets you know how well it's loading. Like right now it's just a loading screen so I don't care about the frames I'm getting right now. It's all about the frames that I get in game. And I mean I have a 970 i7 8 gigs RAM like this should not be an issue. This game should not have run like it did at the very start. But we're going to find out though. We're going to find out if it's any better if they finally fix the issue and have it properly adjusted enough to get 60 frames on PC. Because, I mean, these guys want to put this on console. Console, it's fine, 30 frames, but they can't even keep consistent 30 frames on PC. So that's actually an issue that they need to solve. Another issue that I have just professionally with them is that they went to E3 to show off their game when the game was still horribly unoptimized. And I saw the conference too, like, there was constant frame lags and dropped frames everywhere during that presentation, and it was just really bad. So I'm like wondering, okay, you guys really should not have gone to E3 with this, because this is really bad looking. You should not have done that. It's just a personal opinion that you shouldn't go to E3 and show off something like I will sing this from the high heavens. They have content. There is content in this game. There's plenty of fun stuff to do. But the problem being is, one, it's a bit grindy, so that's an issue. And two, this is probably the more important issue that I have with it. It doesn't perform well. All I care about really is performance. If you can just get it to perform well, I can look past, like, everything else it just has to perform well but these guys so far at least from what I played and I played like 70 hours of this game before I got like bored like before the Spinosaurus happened before that got added into it like there's been another update too I think so there should actually be even more stuff in the game or at least another major update because they constantly are doing small updates So as you can see, I'm trying to connect to an official server here, and there we go. We're actually beginning the connection to an official server, which is, frankly, better than how it started. If any of you saw the first Is It Worth It video, you all know that you couldn't even connect to official servers. And anybody who's like, oh, well, that's just your poor internet, go fuck yourself. Like, literally, go fuck yourself, because you can literally look into the forums on Steam's discussion page and see that there were thousands of other people having the same issue. And it's more or less because they didn't plan. They planned to show it off to with a bunch of YouTubers and streamers, do like a 24 hour they can stream on the servers with nobody else entering, and then they expected not to get flooded by a bunch of people who watched them play. Like that was just poor planning on their part. Like. Judging, we're going to judge purely on this update, and if it still has major issues, I'm going to say you got to wait for it to be completely released. Like, wait an entire year before even bothering with this game. If they don't have it after like 20 some odd updates, because I believe it was version 160 at launch, at quote unquote launch, because some people are going to use the argument that early access games don't have a standard to be held to but I'm gonna completely say no no they have an even higher standard because they're still charging you money and they're trying to hide behind the shield of oh it's early access no they're still charging you money 
So you still have a right as a consumer to judge a product and know if it's good. As a consumer, you have that right. And I will defend that right. I will play any poor early access game and judge whether or not it's worth your purchase. I will tell you whether or not it's worth waiting or worth actually getting from the start. Here's the game that I would actually recommend getting. Darkest Dungeon. That game was amazing straight off the bat. Straight off the bat, that game worked. I would actually recommend that game. That is actually one of my favorite games. It's still in early access though, because they're still adding stuff to it. But it actually performs well, and it's actually good. I believe they actually recently had an update that adds three new different types of bosses, and two different new hero classes. Like, get out of town, man. That's actually pretty awesome. If they keep doing that, by the time it's released, it'll probably be the best valued indie game on Steam. Like, that's just my personal opinion, though. You may disagree with it, but that doesn't make me wrong. And it doesn't make you right, either. It does take a bit more time to load. I remember loading being much quicker than before. Maybe the extra loading could be a processing thing? I don't know. Well, we're going to find out. Straight off, it looks the same, pretty much. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same here. Uh, let's increase the leg range and the torso height and the arm length. And let's go with the super white hair. And I mean, that looks like a normal person. I'm not like one of the people who like to build freaks. I'm also getting consistent 60 right now. That is something to bear in mind. But this is just on this screen. However, on this screen before, I was only getting like 30. So this is inherently better. So far. So far. I don't want to get anybody's hopes up here. I'm going to think, like the north is where the mountains are, so if I am going to be playing this a bit more, I think the north may be a better way to spawn. Okay. We're creating a survivor. Alright. I do have the music muted because the music was a huge thing, like causing issues earlier. Like way early in the game, maybe they fixed the music to not be so goddamn blaringly loud. But we'll have to take a look at that. Um, I'm actually getting the uppers of like 70 frames looking at the water. Let's turn around. I'm getting 60. I am getting consistent 60. Good job, game. Good job. You have actually achieved something that I did not think you would achieve so quickly. I gotta give the developers props for this. This is actually 60 right now. But that could also be my own settings. So let's go ahead and look here. Okay, so I have that pretty much on medium. Let's put it on high. I don't think having that, and we all know that the sky quality doesn't matter, but let's try putting it on somewhat high. And let's actually increase the master volume a bit, maybe, and see what happens. Uh, it's apply, and then save. Um, okay, okay, I see it. What's up? It dropped down to 30 frames now. It is a consistent 30. But it's 30 again, so the high end still needs to be, like the quote-unquote high, needs to still be fixed. Anti-aliasing needs to be medium, 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 get down that sky quality. Apply, save, and now we're at 60. Okay, so it still needs a little polishing. It's not perfect, but... On medium, you can actually get 60 frames with a 970, so. At least you can actually get 60 frames. I gotta say, that's actually really damn decent. Uh, running through here. Can't even... Yeah, it's... They really adjusted the sound here, didn't they? Yeah, I barely even hear it. Let me try adjusting some things here. Yeah, I barely hear anything here. Okay, there's some thatch from punching a tree. There's some wood. I should have enough tools to... Uh... Okay, there we go. I should be able to construct 
Nope, can't do it yet. Need more thatch. Oh, that's a D-Lo. Let's not deal with that. So there's seems to be a bit of a lonely island. I need to get some thatch here, please. One more thatch, please, before the D-Lo gets me. Thank you. Oh, D-Lo just got me. While I'm in the middle of crafting a weapon. I wonder if I can still just swing in one direction and live. Yeah, it looks like I can. Unless the poison gets me here, which it probably will. Yeah, the poison got me, but I managed to kill him anyways. Super dark right now on this server, so that's annoying. I did spawn there, so that's pretty nice. Respawn. They definitely adjusted the audio a lot. It's w way quieter than earlier. Yeah. I mean, I'm getting cons You, s It's not optimized enough because with a goddamn 970, you should be able to run high. With a 970. That's like the lower end of the high-end machines. So, that's still an issue. But, I mean, it's not the worst thing. It's not the worst thing. You can totally get... Hey, I gotta level up too. You can totally get... I obviously need to go for stamina. Stamina is obviously the smart thing. You need to learn that. You need to learn that. Okay. But yeah, I actually recognize exactly where I am. And I know that there's a cave over here. So, that's actually something we should test right now. We should actually go into the cave and see how bad the frames drop in there. Because before, like, there was major lag log to just walk into the cave. But once you got in, the frames were actually pretty good. So let's actually go into the cave and see what's up. Since we're... This actually seems to be incredibly convenient that it randomly spawned me near the cave. Anyways. Let's... Oh! This is one of those servers that... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Well. These are one of the servers that actually allow you to wall off the cave. So. Yeah. That's neat. So I can't actually test the cave here. I'll have to try somewhere else, I guess, but... Or maybe join that group, but either way. Oh, there's a bit of... There's still a bit of frame drops here. Here and there. But I'm getting consistent 60, so... Good on the developers. I can actually recommend this product now. I mean, I already like the content in it. It's already fun. But I couldn't recommend it because of the performance issues. And the network issues. But the fact that I'm getting consistent 60 now, I can actually recommend this. So like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed. And I will see you all next time.